Hi everyone, Nathan here from Mighty Lancer Games and I'm here with Little Miss MLG and today we're going to open up a, uh, a booster brick of Pathfinder Legendary Adventures pre-painted minis from uh, WizKids. And I'm really excited about this. These boxes contain a variety of kind of generic uh, monsters for D&D and Pathfinder pre-painted in... Uh, a variety of sizes from goblins and kobolds up to a dragon potentially a giants and other amazing stuff um, looking forward to busting some of these open and see what we get when we open a whole brick like that which is which is eight uh, of these like booster packs you're uh, you're supposed to be in with a really good chance of getting uh, just about every figure in the set so there's 44 figures uh, available in the set that's a lot. It is, yeah. So, uh, welcome to everybody in chat. I've seen Tony and Fizzy Wizzle, Pete the Priest, and Roosbless. I uh, I am very excited as well, Roos. Uh, so, should we crack on? Yeah? And see what happens. See what we get. So, uh, we thought we'd leave the cellophane on so you could see that it's a, uh, a sealed box. No tampering with the situation. Oh. Awesome. Right, so we're going to put that to one side and then we're going to open one by one. Open them one by one. Okay, so are you ready? Yeah. Right then, so this is what the packaging um, looks like. Here we are. So, so small. Oh, you can't see that. I don't think. Why can't we see that? It's, it's right there. I don't so, know. yeah, let's get that a bit more in there. In the middle. So in here, there's a random assortment. There's a handful of uh, player characters: uh, halfling, uh, elf, a dwarf, I think, and a couple of other bits and pieces. There's you could potentially get a chimera, kobolds, uh, this chimera. awesome, awesome boar demon, this amazing-looking shadow figure dwarf. There's all sorts of stuff in here. So let's let's get into it and find out. So so. These uh, bricks, are, or the packs themselves, are, um, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, let's one check. brick is 14 yeah, so, so, uh, so, yeah, so one booster should be 17.99, but they are the uh, excellent price of 14.99 at my Talents Games. Or you can buy a whole brick like we're gonna open here for a hundred pounds. That's so, a lot. Uh, yeah. But then you get eight instead of these packs yeah, instead of 143 pounds. Hi Moxie, how you doing? Right then, so let's uh, let's get stuck in. So what we're going to do is we're going to open these up and then all the individual figures that we get out of here we are going to uh, make available for sale individually eventually. So, first one, what have we got? So we've got... Well, that's a lot of love for that. Yeah, so in the middle of the uh, thing here, so this is this is a Yeti figure. So he's. Uh, ah, I can't see. Oh. Uh, I can, I can, can see you see him? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So he's a uh, he's an awesome Yeti figure. He's number twenty seven in the set. So if you don't fancy painting your own figures, you can get. <laughs> not yet, Pete the Priest. Not yet. So. Uh, yeah, if you don't fancy painting all your own figures for your D&D games, you can get pre-painted figures and you'll be able to buy those singly. So, there's a Yeti. There you go. That's it over there. What else have we got here? So this looks like it could be an elf of some description. So we've got a armoured elf soldier figure seven in the set. Whoa. So, pretty cool. Useful as a, a guard, a player character, whatever you like. Okay. I can't see them there. Dad, I can't see them. I will, I will pass you some over, my darling, and then when you've had a look at them, you, you pass them back. We've got this. Uh, we've got this gnome rogue, funky little figure. 
nice and brightly coloured. Who's that? <laughs> 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 it's got really staring eyes. <laughs> Yeah, it's got really bright, starey eyes. And then what's this? This looks That's like it could be. Oh, this is actually this is this this first pack is like pretty cool because we've got two player characters in here. So we've got a dwarf rogue, a halfling, or a is it a halfling or a gnome rogue, an elf, mm. and then a yeti. So this is mm. off uh, the side of the box. This little uh, dwarf female rogue figure. That's pretty. Okay. Do I need to hold it closer? Oh, okay. Well, that, there's a little bit of a delay, so it's hard. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. Hi, Wicked D. Awesome. Right, there you go. So, that was the first one. Let's get on to the next one. Let's see what cool stuff we get in this one. This one's a little bit heavier. So, let's see what's going on. And here. That one has a oh, there's, creepy eyes. Yeah, there's something, uh, something bigger in here. So, we've got a giant. Now, these figures are very similar, I believe, in makeup to the um, unpainted minis from WizKids. So, for example, where this lady's uh, spear is folded over there with a bit of hot water, you'd be able to repose that and get it upright. So, she is a cloud giant, 32A. Of, which, there must be a 32B. So uh, she looks Why pretty is she funky. Because that's a type of giant in the game. You get fire giants, stone giants, mm. cloud giants, storm giants. Yeah, like fire giant, like that one. So she's pretty cool, isn't she? She's got clear hair. Can I? Uh, I can't see. Yeah, she's pretty funky. Mm. Have a look. Ah. And then oh, this one's fallen out of his uh, little baggy. He's a uh, yeah. He's a kobold scout. Oh, kobold! Little Ooh. guy, a bright green kobold with a, a crossbow and a knife, hand crossbow and a knife. What's a crossbow? So you need a whole horde of uh, kobolds for oh. for regular adventures. Oh. Oh, what's this? A bugbear. Um, so a bugbear uh, mauler. Little I know, they're pretty cool, aren't they? Right. So a, a bugbear, another standard like bad guy for uh, most adventures. And then we've got another small figure, whatever that this is. Anything like a bugbear. That just looks yeah. like a goblin's face stuck onto a human. <laughs> it does. A halfling slinger, so a tiny little halfling. With a uh, with a sling there, he's got a little knife and a sling and a I don't know whatever that is across his back, a couple of swords or something across his back across or his hair back. back. But that's uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, Here you go. Uh, Excellent. Uh, so two in, we've got a decent selection of figures already. Uh, across his back is swords, and what he's got is and he's like a whippy thing. Yes, and a then, sling. Like a sling. Four. Yeah. And then he's and then he has got a little sword and he's a boy. Oh. Oh, well, this this looks like it's got a giant in it as well. Ooh. Yep. Oh, sorry. So you always get. Yes, that's what I just asked Wicked D. He's yep. got to explain it a bit. So you so you get four. Whoa, <laughs> Whoa I can't understand the chat. It's all right. I'll read it out. So you so. 
the question is, what do you get in a pack? So you always get a large or a huge figure in each pack. So what large figures have you got so, so far? So large figure-wise, we have got the Yeti. And huge figure-wise, we have got the Cloud Giant. And then now out of this one that we've just opened, we have got a Fire Giant. A Fire Giant! Oh, Dad! Which is, which is this guy. Dad, yeah. Dad, you can tell by the hair. Yeah. Can, this, so he's got like this, 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 clear orangey hair yeah. and like brassy uh, thing. I don't think, pass me my uh, fires right there. I don't, I don't think I did a bad job of uh, with the colour scheme here for my uh, fire giant I painted on stream. You, you know that you can tell them apart. That's, that's pretty cool. You can, you can tell the giants apart because of their hair. Because this one's hair is like a cloud. That's and it. That one's hair is fire. That's so right. So if you can tell them apart, it's easy. What have we got here? If you know how to tell them. Oh no, we've got a we've got a we've got a defect. What's a defect? What's a defect? We, we've got a uh, we've got a kobold soldier with no head. <laughs> oh no. Daddy, can you show? Can you show me the? Yeah, look, he's missing his head, unfortunately. Oh no! Dad, can trying you... to trying to show everybody how cool they are, and he's missing his head. Dad, typical MLG style. Yeah, Dad. something's always got to go wrong. Dad, Here you go. Uh... <laughs> Dad, you haven't shown me the fire. Oh, sorry, sweetie. <laughs> Whoa! The 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 giant hair is actually quite smooth. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. is this this guy's cool. He's a hobgoblin soldier. Hobgoblin, hobgoblins. Do do do, hobgoblins. Yeah, I like him. He's uh, he's funky. The, it's the, like a uh, the, the a nice, well armed thing. The, the, like quality of the painting there on the shields actually, like pretty good. I think <laughs> he's a really cool figure. And obviously, if you wanted to, you could repaint these figures. Or uh, <laughs> embellish your paint scheme, the paint scheme on them, or whatever. But Ow. if you uh, if you want to fill a table, and what? Wiki D says, why do we never come up against headless beasts? I think we need a few more of those. We'd yeah. still lose. So, oh, this this guy's nice as well. Right. Awesome. But, but if you, if it was headless, they can't see us. I know. Mm. So double. <laughs> A, uh, a, a heavily armoured dwarf champion. He's a what? he's a cool figure. Oh, I can't even see. I know. I will pass him to you in a second. So yeah, he's he's funky. I like him. That's uh, that's a nice mini. Sad face. Awesome. There you go. Have a look at that. Right, nice. So that's three down. Oh, sorry. Okay, yeah. yeah that's a good idea. I'm, I'm, so I'm, let's have a let's I'm have a little putting, review of what we've got. I'm putting them there for you. Thank you, darling. So let's have a let's have a little sum up of where we are so far. So we've got a couple of uh, so straighten that bit out a little bit. Took it in her hair. Her, uh, thing. So she is a huge figure. Oh, so the fire giant might just be a large. Actually, I'm saying it's a huge, but that might just be a large figure. It's on a large size base, look. Um, what else have we got? We've got that uh, book there. So this is three packs. And you've got a decent selection of figures. So if you were buying the unpainted, I'm like gutted about that guy's head. But unfortunately, like miss packs and things happen. So. Here we go. So this is what we've got in our uh, our pack so far. So if you were buying these figures as pre as unpainted figures, which like you could quite easily repaint them, so that would be a fourteen ninety nine figure, a, a large one. The fire giant, I think, probably uh, would be as well. This yeti would be eight ninety nine, I think, based on the size of the other figures. And then these others would be like two or three in a pack. Might get three smaller ones in a pack for four ninety nine, and the rest of these would be like two in a pack for uh, four ninety nine. So there's a decent selection of figures there for the uh, for the value. 
that we've got so far. Well impressed with uh, with these, the fire giant and the love this guy. He's awesome. Right, let's stick those over here and then let's open it some more. What what do uh, what do you all think in on in the chat if you're watching along? What do you reckon to what we've opened out of this so far from the quality and uh, appearance of these figures? What's in this one? Ooh, an ashen man. This looks, uh, this looks interesting. I've no idea what he is. Ooh, it now. So this is, yeah, this is funky. So he is an, the Ashen Man. So he must be a, a kind of bit more bespoke uh, creature for, uh, or a monster for various things. So he's got this kind of smoky plastic clear um, effect like he's appearing out of a cloud of smoke but he's, he's got no face because he's got this old kind of um, like I don't know like yeah like a, a mask or a, a mess of tentacle or whatever it is here on his face you can't really see what's going on there he's got a bit more spell effect smoke coming out of his hand that's a really nice figure. You could use that as a, a necromancer or anything. It's really cool. Can we also get some dogs? I, I will. I will show you, my dad. I'll show you. Yes, Roos. That's. I, I think that's what kind of drew me to uh, to some of these because they're they're such kind of standard figures, aren't they? It's. Uh, we started off with four of each. Can I tell you something? Yes, sweetie. If you turn them to the side, yeah. um, it's not tentacles, it's more smoke. Is it more smoke? Yeah. Cool. Daddy, look. It's smoke. Oh, yeah. Awesome. You do do do. You recognise things. <laughs> awesome. Right, so this is a uh, kobold scale caster. So a little kobold wizard. Or sorcerer or something. He's got a little clear spell effect bit on his hand there. And his little staff. He's really funky. And uh, I like that they've not painted all the kobolds the same colour. To give a bit of variation. We've got a, a goblin guard. A nice standard monster. A nice... Uh, the, I love the Pathfinder goblin style with these kind of sticky out ears. And the, uh, the wide heads and the big eyes. I think they look really cool. So he's obviously got a face mask on. And he's got like nice bright red eyes. Looks properly wicked. Whoa! This he's uh, he's funky. The, the cardboard's got something clear in his hand. Yeah. What and then it? and then this guy, a bugbear skulker. So he's another proper like bad guy, generic like monster to go in all your encounters. So that's the that was the skulker from earlier on, a bit skinnier, and then the or the mauler, sorry, from earlier on. And this is Skulker, he's a lot meatier, a lot heavier uh, fighter. Here you go, you have a look. So let's put these uh, these guys back up here. This one's a lot heavier. This one is more armoured than this one. Yeah. They're cool, aren't they? Really funky. They're scary. Let's, let's do another one. Let's do another one. Yeah, do you, do you want to open the next one? Uh, oh, what are we doing here? This thing looks cool. Right, can, can I? Right, okay, don't matter. What? No, go on. What are you going to say? <sighs> what is that? What is that? What is that? Who knows? What is that? It's an Al Golfu. Al Golfu. It's, it's some weird ah. tentacly fish thing. That's awesome. Can you show me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Have, yeah I've just got a little, little miss. Have a, have a have a look at what it is. That's, that's a shark. <laughs> that's, right. Yes, I'll, cool. I'll describe it to all of you. It's a shark. Why don't you just keep that together? It's a shark with tentacles on it. It's a shark with tentacles. Look at that. That thing's immense. I love it. Immense? What does that word even mean? 
amazing. Oh. So some of these words you say, I don't even understand. Yeah, I, that thing's cool. I love it. Uh, to get married with it. Nah, yeah. Married to your mummy. Love it. And this guy, he's a goblin horse chopper. So he's a, a lovely, wicked goblin. He's even got earrings in his ear. And he's got what? this huge two-handed thing. Does that mean he chops heads off horses? I think it might do, darling, yeah. Poor do you want to have a look at him? Poor horse. What else have we got? Oh, this this looks like a rangery type or something, what? maybe? I am a ranger. I am a ranger. Oh no, it's a, it's an orc brawler. I mean, what's so a brawler? It's a big, heavily armoured orc. Not a brawler. Not <laughs> a brawler. He's he's a fighter. So he's got a, a he's got a quiver full of javelins on his back. Does, does brawler it, mean? Does brawler mean really heavily armoured? He's a yeah, he's a fighter. He like gets stuck in and punches people and stuff. So he's got these like fighting punches. knives. Yeah. Punches. He's fighting knives and his javelins on his back. He's really cool. I'm really impressed with these. Love him. Hi Naz. And then we've got another goblin guard. So that's like a, another kind of staple monster. You hope to get a few duplicates of kind of basic um stuff like this to populate your encounters excellent so we've got three left for the brick oh yeah sorry go on you you open that little miss is going to open this one i did say that she could open it what you're going to like this one i'm going to like this one <laughs> what is it ah oh, yeah I'm not telling anyone what it is. Is it a Pikachu? No? It is. Oh, look at that! A Chimera! Chimera! Chimera Chimera. Chimera. Chimera Chimera. So, we've, we've got a uh, we've got a Chimera. Chimera Chimera. Chimera Chimera. chimera, chimera. Uh, I don't know. So, goat, a... goat, lion, dragon. <gasps> That thing's uh, that thing's pretty awesome. I think. Why is that uh, thing painted? Yes, yes. It just looks yeah. white on the screen. It looks cool. So I, I would be tempted to uh, get the hot water out and see if I could repose these wings slightly. But even so, it uh, it looks absolutely amazing. Thank well, are we awesome? I, I was I was hoping it. we'd get one of these. Sorry, it. darling. Sorry, my dear. I was hoping that we'd get one of these. This is the uh, the shadow. From the it, side it, of the box, this it's like creep, it's creepy looking uh, venomy Spider Man type the, monster. The, the Chimera or Chapman, it, it is pronounced Chimera. Is it? Yeah, and okay. we've got a look. Ch e m e r a. Chimera. Okay. It, yeah. If I was you, I would repose its wings. Okay, and we've got another elf soldier. So some of the, some figures yeah. are a little more common common than others, this, obviously. This but they're uh, hopefully they're the ones that you're going to get this goes more of, like yeah. goblins and elves no, and what have you. Like oh, and awesome! We've got an orc battler. Another heavily armored orc is. Uh, Ready for action there. Heavily armoured, got his massive chopper sword here at the side of him. Oh, wow. He's awesome. Cool. Well impressed with these. Well impressed. Dad, can I open this You can open the next one. Sorry, sweetie. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're going to be excited about this one. So, in each box, in each box you get four figures, one large or huge figure. And then three smaller figures, as you've uh, seen. Um, so a box is fourteen ninety nine, which is good value compared to. Uh, you don't have to paint them yourself if you want. Just quick figures. Yes. Why don't I just rip, rip the back? Off? Oh wow! What is that? Another giant. Awesome. Wowzers. What type of I don't know. 
Who, I think he's another climate there. Oh, he's a storm giant. Storm giant. Wow. He's a uh, he's a weighty uh, weighty guy. Dad, can we have all the giants over here? Yeah. Storm Giant, he's uh, he's properly cool. Good. So that would definitely be in the like fourteen ninety nine price range. Hi, Chunkster. Um, as a as an unpainted figure, so he's uh, he's properly cool, and he's a nice size as well. So let's find out where's our uh, elf. So the, they're a, they're a good size figure as well, well uh, well proportioned. Awesome. So just that's one thing. They, where's the bugbears? So in the in the monster manual, the bugbears uh, are described as being like taller than a human. So compared to that elf, he's uh, he's well scaled. I think. Excellent, excellent. Same monster manual. It's not called the monster manual, Pathfinder. It's a bestiary. Why did you give me this? So, you, oh, sorry, I was passing in so you could have a look, but you've already seen it. <laughs> right, we've got one, we've got one left. I'll give you, oh, can I? Yeah, you can open the last one. But you need to open them tiny packages first, don't you? We do. So what we got here, we've got... Uh, what is that? A gnome soldier. I'm a gnome. He, he looks pretty uh, funky. Not quite sure about his bright green beard. <laughs> but whoever, whoever's, uh, whoever's painting these, or whether they're... Mm. So you see see his bright green beard. But whoever's, uh, whoever's painting these, or whether they're pre-printed with the colour or whatever, they've even managed to get dots in their eyes for uh, like the pupils and what have you which is a steadier hand than I am when I'm painting figures. I quite often don't bother painting eyes. <laughs> but yeah, blind, he's... Uh, blind person. He's well equipped, that guy. He's got a halberd in it, or a bill hook, and a... Looks like a hockey stick, and something else shoved down his... Uh, back pouch. I, sword in his, in his waist. I can't paint eyes, but I... I attempt to paint them. Well, that's... I yeah, it, do that's alright. Try, that's good enough. We've got a uh, hobgoblin sharpshooter. Right. He's he's pretty cool as well, like that other hobgoblin from earlier on. He's, he's got the similar kind of appearance to the regular Pathfinder goblin in the shape of his face. But he's, he's got his bow and arrow, his quiver, he's got a shield there, sword on his belt. He's uh, nicely tooled up. So yes, this we. guy, did anyone notice he's got green has he? I didn't notice that, I just noticed his massive green beard. Right, if you look closely on his face, he's got green eyebrows. Green eyebrows. Oh, he has! Green eyebrows and a twinge of green hair poking out of his cowl as well. I, I don't like that. I don't like this video. <laughs> Dad. That's awesome. Look, Dad, if you, if you actually like, feel the shield, it actually feels like wood. Does it? Yeah, feel it. Awesome. I will do in a second. And we've got another goblin horse chopper, another one of those uh, like evil looking little guys. I don't like goblin horse choppers. Yeah, he's cool though with his like big, big. Oh, sword. you got a duplicate. You got yeah. a duplicate. But, but awesome. it's cool. They could be brothers. Well, yeah, the texture on the on the shield there is uh, is actually really good. Like it's, I it's nice. Yeah, it's nicely uh, nicely grained. So if you did decide you were going to repaint it, you'd, there'd be plenty of detail to pick out. Right now. Last one, little miss. Here you go. It feels quite heavy, that one. Let's keep our fingers crossed for uh, something epic. You don't, you don't know what it is? No, I don't. Right, okay. I'll, I'll try and rip a bit more. Okay, I'll have a quick drink while you're ripping a bit off. You're going to pass me the little ones? Okay, so Once little, little ones. Packet. Awesome, so we've got a, a, a white like a, an undead uh, warrior chap he's uh, no, no, no. yeah he's not very white he's more black but he's uh, he's a good little uh, skull face chappy what else have we got oh awesome we've got a, a halfling druid now this 
I could be wrong, but I think that this is um, actually already available as one of the unpainted minis. It looks really familiar with the little spell effect piece and stuff. I think that could be one of the, uh, the figures that you can get as an unpainted figure. And the uh, cloak has got these little like stitched on bits in the back. That looks pretty fun. What is that? What is that? Yeah, see if you can get it out of the packet. Little Miss has opened this, uh, opened this thing on the side of me. Yeah, I think. And then we've got a goblin dog slicer. Yes, yeah, like oh, another awesome little goblin with a uh, with a massive chopper. I love these Pathfinder goblins. They are awesome. Right, can I just tell you what this turtle's called? What's it Dragon called? Dragon turtle! All oh, right, let's have a look. Let's show everybody. This thing looks awesome. He's really heavy. I think uh, I think Roos opened one of these. If I, I could be wrong, but I think Roos opened one of these. Went out of one that he had got, but that thing is. Massive. Excellent. That thing's awesome. Mm. Look, it's got all this water effect coming up, like it's splashing out the water. Yeah, it meant to be a, a yeah. flying out the water. I think it's bigger than the giants. It is. It's definitely a lot heavier than the giants. Wow. Yeah. Mm. That thing's awesome. Mm. I, I I thought it felt quite heavy. Um, if if you like, if it was like stood up and it was like splashing at the water upwards. So this is what it's going and like straight up. Yeah. It'd be so tall. Like it that. would. That thing is cool, isn't it? Now, the one thing with this is, this is probably one of the least common figures that you're going to find a use for in a game. <laughs> uh, in, a, in a standard game, where some, most of this other stuff, like the, the goblins and the bugbears and even the giants and the chimera, you're going to use like on a, a sort of semi-regular basis throughout a campaign or whatever, but... Something like the dragon turtle is is very uh, situational. You're probably going to have to write a encounter where your players are on a river. <laughs> yeah, they're on a on a on a river or a uh, or in a purple sea or something. Crossing like a, crossing a channel between two uh, two continents yeah. or something to get attacked by one of these things. This yeah. thing's epic. Because mm, when because they went across it again and try to So let's let's have a little summary, I guess, of uh, what we got. So this is um, like a hundred pounds worth of, of minis, I guess. So. Ah, oh, right. Yeah. Sorry, I need uh, I need tutelage. Telling, uh, telling what to do, my dear. Yeah, that's good. So yeah. this is. Uh, yeah, can you pass me all the tiny miniatures? Uh, well, let me just show everybody what there is, and then we'll, uh, I'll pass you some. I didn't see the dog's like. Didn't you? No. Oh, I'll, I'll show you. There you go. Have a quick look at him while I lay everybody else down. So this is like a hundred pounds worth of uh, of minis, pre-painted to save you the hassle of having to. Uh, Paint figures ready for your adventure. Okay, that's how they look. So, so wicked day. Each box is uh, fourteen ninety nine, and you get like the four figures in. So you've got a chance of getting like something awesome. So the first one we opened had the Yeti in, up to like the last one that we opened had this like amazing dragon turtle, and then obviously you get a selection of smaller monsters as well. And, and equally you could like repaint any of these figures but I don't know why you'd need to because they're uh, they're pretty cool on the whole as it is I'm well impressed with this so if you if you let's have a bit of a summary about how much you would have to pay if you bought these as unpainted figures and then you have to paint them so um, Chimera I think would be Chimera oh, Chimera spelling corrections um, would I reckon be a either an eight ninety nine or a fourteen ninety nine figure. The two cloud, the giant and the storm giant, and possibly even the fire giant, they'd be like the fourteen ninety nine price range. This uh, dragon turtle is is pretty massive, so I reckon he'd be in the uh, like twenty eight ninety nine or whatever it is the uh, the like the larger blister price range, like the 
huge uh, minotaur things. The what's, what's it called? But Gorgoloth and uh, Borborgis thingy. Borgoloth? They're Borgoloth? like big giants what are they? That, they, that they've done recently. They're they're huge giants, sweetheart. Massive. Massive. So no, they're smaller than that. So uh, yeah, so the the Aboleth, Al Al Golthu, that thing, that right. thing, right. and the Yeti and the Ashen Man. They would be either four ninety nine on their own or like eight ninety nine, and then the others are combinations of like two or three for four ninety nine. So there's like actually a really good array of minis. I'm pretty impressed with all of those. So, should we open some more? Oh, do you, what do you what do you think everybody do you think we should open some more should we open another brick yeah so so we're gonna advertise we're gonna uh, list all of these individually and uh, and then we're gonna make them available for sale so if you decide that you uh, would like this awesome dragon turtle then uh, we're gonna price these up at very reasonable prices I have so uh, my. Uh, <laughs> I'm just too excited. I'm giddy and excited. Daddy, can you show me the fish monster? Right. So, we're uh, we're going to do the huge figures on the uh, on the larger. Bait. So the giant, the two giants, and the dragon turtle. We're going to make them like fourteen ninety nine, I think. The and then giant. and then the no, that's that's what we're going to do. It and then the large figures. So like the. The fire giant, he's a little bit smaller than the other ones, I think. So we'll make him a little bit cheaper. And the and the Chimera, Chimera, uh, and, the, and the Aboleth, we'll make those like the 899 price point. And then we've got the little ones, they'll be like 250. And then the bigger ones, like the Orc and the Bugbears and things, they'll be like 349. Uh, 249, 349, 899, 1499. So they've got like a wide spread. So if you want these awesome figures and either you want to repaint them or you don't want to paint them and you just want to use them as they are then you've got to have the option to pick and choose which figures you want without having to buy a random box and get stuff that you might not necessarily uh, want but they won't be in retail packaging we are going to package them in um, little baggies and blisters so they will be uh, protected and safe so what do you reckon? Let's uh, let's open some more. Just right, so let's right. let's put those over there. Right, J just just to ask Jack the question: Does anyone think that we should open more? Yeah, I think I think I think we should. Um, let, let's just ask Jack. They, they're saying yeah. Okay then. What's right, so guy? so if, so if you put all those over I'll there, darling. Yeah, that guy. So, so if you put those all on top of that, sweetie, for me. All on top of this. Type all on top. Of all on top of that thing. So all, all of the tiny ones and also the big ones. Yeah, yeah, all of them on there, and then we can keep them separate, like what we got out of each thing, and then we can, we'll we'll know. Ooh, a hydrate. Thank you, uh, Tony. Ooh, hydrate. Oh my god. <laughs> We're on, uh, we're on, we're on Aldi's finest again, cause uh, oh, right. it's yeah. significantly better than uh, other Dad. overpriced premium lagers. Dad, do you know this one? Oh. It's got a kettle, and then on its cork, that it, it's got some little patches where they've like worn through, and it's they've stitched other bits on. Yeah, but oh, that. See what I can do. Oh. oh my god! Okay, then. Can you stop saying that. Yeah. Chunkster redeemed hat me. Well, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> why, why are you putting your hat on? Because they've paid these Lancer points, so I have to wear a hat. That's how it works. I did that, but do I have to wear a hat? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, come and pick a hat. In fact, let's just let's just put you in a hat. No. Okay. <laughs> Wait, let's put me in a hat that I can't see. I can't hat. see this one. Right then. So are you going to open? Yeah. Oh, right, go on then, quick. See. You know, just reposition it so you can see what you're doing. Yeah. I like this hat actually. If it was just a little bit bigger so it fitted on my fat Swede, then uh, 
it would be it would be awesome. I'd wear I think I would wear this in public. What have you got? Awesome. So brick two. This is another fresh brick. Yeah. We've got another we've got another owl golf food. Oh. So if you not if you don't want to, darling. If if you wanted to run an aquatic adventure, we've uh, we've got you covered. Dragon turtle and two owl gothus. We're uh, we can we can hook you up with some aquatic beasties. What have we got? We've got a goblin ankle slasher. He's a uh, he's a wicked little guy. He's got two little hook knives to get you. So we've got a, a horse horse slasher or whatever he was, horse chopper to uh, take your horse down and then once you're on the floor this little ankle slasher guy comes and gets you oh this one looks cool what's this this is a uh, oh this is another one of those gnome rogues with the uh, with the bright eyes sweet and then uh, this look yeah this looks like another armored elf so as you can see some of these figures slightly more uh, Common than others. There you go. Yeah, I think because the. Because, okay, so Asmo, because the like large figure is held in this kind of plastic, and then the single figures are in the bubble wrap, tucked in this back cavity. Oh, sorry. So. Daddy, can I yes, you can, my darling. Yes, you can. Well, you explain. Okay. So. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Little Miss is very excited. So, so you see the big one, but not the small one. Yeah. So when you when you open the box, sometimes the. Uh, large figure is facing the back of the box and sometimes it's facing the front of the box and then the uh, the small figures in the bubble wrap obviously could be either way it just obviously depends how they've packed it uh so we're uh, we're just opening the uh, the bricks to see the variants of figures that we get inside oh I, i've got to show you the small ones while little miss oh no you can't no yeah you um so asmo you uh, you can't see the big one without buying it because the the box is sealed. They're uh, they're a blind box. That's right. Blind bag box. So what have we got? We've got an elf ranger. We didn't get one of these out of the other out of the first box. That's 24B. So there must be a different variant of that figure. That's pretty pretty cool. Player character or elf warrior monster NPC. Awesome, that thing looks epic. We've got uh, a goblin dog slicer, so another another generic goblin bad guy. I wonder if there's any I wonder if there's any goblin archers. In here. That'd be uh, handy. Oh and then a kobold. A kobold soldier. So this is this is the uh, that's the thing with his head on. <laughs> this is the this is the figure that we were missing the head from out of that first <laughs> box. Yeah. yeah. So this is uh, this is out of the first uh, brick that we opened. We got one of these figures, but it was missing his head, unfortunately. So uh, yeah, and unfortunately, it doesn't appear to be loose in the bottom of one of the packs. It must have just been manufactured without it. So uh, he he'll go in our conversion box at home so we can uh, we can do something with him yeah well or do you think we should special editions <laughs> special edition headless kobold special yeah. edition so, headless miniatures yeah. awesome right then and then the large figure that we got in this box is, is... creepy oh no I've got we've got we'll have some uh... yeah. sorry 
Stop <laughs> kicking on him! Uh, uh, no. I'm, I'm, I'm rubbish. I'm rubbish at doing the Daddy, chat Daddy. thing, aren't I? Yes, sweetie. I've got to put put your hat on. So I'm. <laughs> okay. So Tony says that he's loving the hat, Nathan. And will I be wearing that for International Talk Like a Pirate Day? Well, hopefully. Well, I don't actually know when International Talk Like a Pirate Day is. Now I'm going to show everybody our boar demon that we've got out of this, this I, I pack that we've I just guess. opened. If, so, if, if you flip it over, it says it's named. Yeah, he's a boar demon. He's number 44 of 44. Uh, a, oh, a, excellent. 11A. That, 11A. I don't know what it's called. That's what else happens on that. Yeah. What? So this, this chap is yeah a, uh, an Alfeshni. What's he an Alfeshni? Is, he's one of these, darling. He's a boar demon. That's creepy. So, so he is a a boar demon. He's a a, a Nal Feshni, depending on which uh, monster manual or bestiary you may be looking at for uh, Dungeons and Dragons or Pathfinder or whatever. And they are a, a greater demon, basically. They're a, a fearsome opponent, and he's a well chunky lump of plastic that uh, could grace your gaming table in the not too distant future for uh, for the bargain value price of 14 pounds 99 that's a lot for me awesome he's uh, he's pretty epic so uh, international talk like a pirate day if it's september the 17th then uh, we'll find some amazing pirate themed hat to wear on september the 17th i think No, I, I have actually got a fantastic pirate hat um, that I used to wear when I went LARPing. It's got a majestic white feather in it. Well, or, or it used to have. It might not have if it's been tucked away in the loft or something. Oh, so we, in this box, we've got another one of the uh, gnome rogues. So we've got three of those in total now. What else have we got here? What's this? He looks cool. An orc warlord. That? That's a fantastic thing. So this is like your boss for uh, when you get to uh, the fight your way through the orc encampment. He's uh, he's huge. I like him. He's a really nice mini. And then what's this chap? Looks like a kobold scale caster. Another one of the uh, the kobold sorcerer shaman types excellent so little miss what have you uh, what have you got over right there ah. i know so then we've got another storm giant epic so uh, he's another figure that you uh, that you could double up on if you uh, if you wished so when you're running the storm king's thunder or, yeah, I know. You've got too much giant you, uh, stuff. You'd definitely That's be able to get enough giants to play some of these games. These are absolutely awesome. I love these. I love these. Now, I'm hoping there's a dragon in this set. I'm hoping that we might get the dragon. Daddy. Just because I want to see what it's like. That, one, that, that one's a bit lighter. I think that one's going to have something you know, maybe a little bit smaller. Maybe. What's that? What's that? So we've got a we've got a, we've got a shadow. I don't think the big thing is anything that we've had before. Isn't it? No. So we've got another one of the shadows. This one's got his head a little bit more upright. The other one looks as if he was like broken necked. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna look. What's what's this guy? An orc charger. We're getting a uh, a decent selection of like orc and goblins and kobolds and things here. This is uh, this set. So <laughs> what, what is it? I don't know. Yeah, let's look at this guy. So this guy's got like these uh, fantastic like punch dagger things and javelins and stuff. All the stuff that um, they should have according to the uh, the monster manuals. All the basic equipment, and then we've got another. Oh no, another null uh, bugbear mauler. So standard like 
Morning Star and Shield bugbear. Yes, possibly, uh, possibly, Tony. Two Storm Giants in Saturday Pathfinder's future. Excellent, a Pteranodon. So, a, uh, yeah, so if you if you're heading up into the mountains or a volcanic region, you could spring spring Pteranodons on your players. A tra a tra a how do you pronounce it? Pteranodon. A Pteranodon. Yeah. That's how I'm flying pterodactyly dinosaurs. Yes, it, it, it is a dinosaur. The Excellent. Oh, I, can't, I can't say it. I can't say it. So we're half, halfway through the second brick. Let's uh, let's oh. pass a little MLG another one. I'll unbox everyone. Cool. Now I've not been too mean to them on a on a Saturday um, yet, Tony. I've uh, yeah. Oh, that was uh, Tony being silly. They've only fought. Goblins and uh, some skeletons, giant rats, giant rats bugbears. Yeah, tree monster. Uh, I think the worst things that you fought were the uh, ether caps. The purple blobs. Cobalt scout. Nice little, uh, nice little guy. What have we got here? This looks like another orc. Bruiser, maybe. Yeah. Orc Brawler, another one of those. Excellent. Getting a good selection of things here. Yeah. Goblin Dog Slicer. Oh, Daddy! E excellent. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Different so, cloud giant. And, and then in this one, we've got Different a Cloud, cloud giant, giant 32B. This one. So, that one was 32A. So, ah, so that's the difference. Mm, so, that, that, one, that one's got a spear and that one's got a soft. Yeah, so this this is the one that we got first with the spear, and then in this pack we've got very similar figure. Mm, it's the same with, body, uh, but just with a different weapon. Yeah, yeah, she's just got she's just got a different weapon option. Mm, yeah, that's, pa, 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 that's pa, really cool. Pa, 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 Excellent. So let's uh... open. <laughs> <laughs> To open it. Tony says that he uh, he loves Ooh. Pathfinder goblins with their massive right. grinning mouths. So. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we might still get one because we have ordered one, haven't we? It might eventually turn up. Because it looks cool. So uh, yeah, we could we might eventually one day get a three foot high Pathfinder goblin that we can display in the store. Because uh, that'd just be awesome. And uh, Moxie says that he really likes the orcs in these sets. I'd, I'd really like the orcs and the kobolds and the goblins. I just think, and, and these hobgoblin guys like we've got here, they're um, they're just really great, really great monsters. Super. So what we uh, we got here a bugbear, another really great monster. What's that guy? Oh, another, oh, another white. So, perfect kind of like cannon fodder monsters. Or well, whites are, are a bit more of a challenge. I can't remember exactly in Pathfinder, but in uh, in older D and D variants, whites used to be able to do statistic damage to you, uh, which uh, can really mess your party up. And then we've got another Pteranodon. So we didn't get we didn't get a Tyrannodon in the first uh, brick, and then in the second brick we've got two. So that's awesome. Right, so we've got two boosters left. Unfortunately, the plastic is very noisy. Why don't you use birthday hands? Yeah. Ah. Here you go. So we've got two left. We've got we've got three huge figures: the uh, Nalfeshni and the two giants. And then we've got what two large? How does that? That's not right, is it? What? Are we missing a? Uh, oh yeah, because we got the Aboleth thing as well, didn't we? The uh, 
that I'll I'll go through. I'll go through. So what we've we got in this one? We've got another orc rampager. But have we had one of those before? An orc rampager? Uh, no. Oh no, we had a charger. So a charger and a rampager. So they're uh, slightly differently armed. Those two. We've got a uh, another hobgoblin sharpshooter and a uh, and a goblin guard and a whoop whoop uh, uh, whoop uh, whoop. Can't get it out. Can't get it out. And we've got a whoop whoop chimera. Whoop whoop. Chimera. <laughs> chimera. Chimera. <laughs> chimera. I know. I'm only doing it to find you. <sighs> So another Chimera, which I think is a, uh, a fantastic Chimera. looking Chimera. Fantastic looking monster, Chimera. Right then, on to the last one. I've done my posture check. Look, I'm straight, I'm straight in my back. Thank you, Wicked D, posture check, making sure I sit up straight and don't slouch too much. Come on, little miss. What we got? I'm going to. Oh, I definitely need that also. Oh, you have a bad piece. Haven't we? Awesome. What have we got? He's a bugbear butcher. Bugbear oh, butcher. He's. Uh, I like him. He's like wicked grin and his like creepy white eyes and these horrible looking hooked, uh, hooked Crook. claw things. Yeah, I like him. He's uh, he's awesome. This is creepy. That's creepy. Oh yeah. So we've got an orc, orc battler again. Another nice uh, orc monster. And then what's this? A wraith. I love that. That's awesome. No, I like that. Excellent. <laughs> Doing that. It's just me trying to get the meat. Yeah, the wraith. That wraith's awesome. Wicked, do you are uh, you are correct. That wraith is cool. And and Ruth says heckin' spoopy, which I, I mean I guess means like really spoopy. And then, and then finally, uh, in that pack we have got another yeti. Yeti. I didn't know how to say that. Yeti. So. I'm I'm well impressed by like the contents of these things. Got, I've got bits of bubble wrap all over the place. So we're just gonna have a bit of a tidy up. What does everybody think? I'm tired. <laughs> Me tired. You, you think you're tired now? Me tired from opening books. Okay, right. So let's let's go through uh, what we got in that box. And we'll uh, we'll have a bit of a have a have a roundup. So we got Chimera. Chimera. We got. <laughs> well, Chimera. I, I thought it was Chimera. It's Chimera. But a little Mrs. It says on the bottom. Chimera. Her eaten it all up. Okay. Ch Chimera. 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 Not Chimera. Chimera. I'll I'll go through. I've got those. Storm Giant, epic. Cloud Giant needs a needs a touch of straightening on a sword, but otherwise, uh, like fantastic. Cloud Giant, real star of the show for me. Anyway, the Boar Demon, he's uh, he's awesome. It's just such a weighty lump of plastic that. It, it looks great, and and the paint job is like pretty decent. Yeah, there they are. Let's just call them good. Yeah. Let's just call the paint job good. Okay, other other large based figures out of the, out of the box. We've got the two Tyrannodons. and uh, and the Yeti. So and we got a Yeti out of the uh, the first box. And then also we've got a decent selection of other other cool stuff. So we've got a shadow. We've got some bugbears. And I like that the uh, I like that the bugbears also have a good variation of fur color. We've got some uh, orcs. 
orcs. So we've got a, a little selection of orcs, including this amazing warlord figure. I think he's awesome. So, uh, and like in proper orky fashion, the uh, the ones in charge are bigger and meatier than the rest. So he's he's a good like chunk taller and beefier than the uh, the regular guys. Even this uh, battler, he's. Uh, He's clearly in charge, isn't he, that guy? So we've got five orcs out there. We got one, two, three goblins. Three, two, two hobgoblins. Four, or three kobolds. Three kobolds, not including the headless one. What? 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 Oh, Dad! All they can see is the top of your head. Is it? Yeah. And then, and then a couple of uh, player characters. Dad, so. They can see the top of their head again. I've got to look at the thing. And then, and then a white and a wraith. So an amazing selection of figures. So if you bought a whole brick. This is kind of a rough guide of uh, what you what you could expect. This or uh, or the other selection of stuff that we showed earlier with the the giants and the dragon turtle and stuff. You can get a really good selection of figures if you buy a whole brick or if you uh, if you just get one pack. You then you've got a random chance of getting like any of these awesome figures. Or you can uh, when we get these things listed, you can head over to Mighty Lancer Games and buy just the uh, just the figure. That takes your fancy. If you want a Nalfeshni, then uh, a boar demon, then you can like just pick up that guy, or just a couple of orcs, or giants, or chimeras. If you want like two of these guys, we're gonna have them for you. So uh, we'll get these listed at some uh, point early in the coming week, and and you'll be able to come and shop to your heart's content. So. Thanks everyone for watching. You know that you can get a half moon wizard? Yeah, I know. There's all sorts of cool stuff. Yeah. There's, there's more figures that we haven't even got to yet. So we've got some more of these that we're, we're thinking about opening and we'll probably save that for another stream because uh, it's almost bedtime. <laughs> so thanks everyone for watching. We've been on for uh, for an hour. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, we've, we've had one of those. So. Our next stream is going to be on Sunday at 4pm where we're going to be playing Skyrim and then on Monday evening we're going to be painting Knights of the Realm from Reaper Miniatures at 8pm. I don't know, is there anything that you would like to see? That's a good question from Mrs MLG. Is there anything that you would like to see us do or, uh, or, or anything that you would like from us? in the future then you can join our discord if you aren't already and uh, and give us any suggestions of things that you'd like to see then uh, that'd be cool wicked d says more mlg what? <laughs> what? awesome well what? thanks everyone for watching and uh, enjoy the rest of your night are you saying bye bye, bye.